This is my eighth year as a representative of IFA and I feel very honored and privileged to be asked to do so year after year and I want to thank Andre, Sabas and Viraf for their continued support, their vision which initially started off as wanting to celebrate Indian cinema outside Indian shores. And as this concept gained importance, we discovered that we were not just involved in celebrating Indian cinema outside India, but indeed forming, as several of the speakers before me have said, this wonderful coming together of communities, of building bridges, of taking up causes which involve corporates, which involve businesses from either countries, and indeed working towards causes which are so important for mankind. A lot of people want to know why we celebrate Indian cinema outside Indian shores. And my response has always been that there were times much before IFA was formed when during my travels outside India, I used to be accosted by people who were not from my country, who did not look like Indians, who did not speak our language, and who continued to recognize us through our names and our songs in our films. This seemed to me somewhat unusual in the beginning, but as the days went by and the years went by, I realized that there was a very large community of people outside India which were watching our films, which were appreciating them, and which were loving their content. So when the three musketeers, as I would like to call these three gentlemen from Wiskra, uh, came across to me with this proposal, I happily accepted it. And it's been a wonderful association. It's been wonderful to see IFA grow from just, as I said, a celebration to almost a global movement, a movement that is gaining importance with each year. We're very happy that uh, each year we are able to introduce new concepts, new ideas of how to bring together communities and really to give Indian cinema and its community the respectability and the dignity that it so richly deserves. I remember 50, 60 years ago when we were kids, Indian cinema was something that was infra dig. It was not considered good for children from homes, or good homes rather, to go and be associated with Indian cinema. We ourselves as kids were, were not allowed to enter the movie hall, and if there was a particular film that we wanted to see, it was first going to be wetted by our parents before we would be allowed inside the cinema house. We've come a long way since then. Indian cinema has almost become a parallel culture. Wherever we go outside India, whenever our country's name is taken, there's also reference to our film stars, to our industry. And I don't know whether this is good for our country, but it certainly speaks a lot for the Indian film industry. We're very proud of that, and we're happy that people outside Indian shores give us this recognition. Sabas has already introduced you to the various facets of this year's IFA. What I'm particularly delighted about is the association that IFA is having this year with Global Cool. It was an aspect that most of us are unaware of. I too was quite unaware of the seriousness of this disaster that lurks uh, to all mankind in the future. And I think that it is an aspect that needs to be addressed very seriously and very sincerely. I was happy to meet Mr. David Miliband, the Minister for Environment in the British government, and some of his associates, who apprised me of this great danger that the entire universe faces. And I was very happy that he was present there at the press conference at Madame Tussauds last week in, in London, where we introduced the global bond and inviting people to come 
and take measures and steps of how to prevent this disaster from happening and thereby save humanity. I have pledged myself and other members of my family, Jaya, Abhishek and his wife to be Ashwarya, towards this very noble and worthy cause. And I'm hopeful that with our association with Global Cool and our interest in global warming, other members of the fraternity will also join hands. I know how important it is for a recognizable face and a recognizable voice to speak on issues such as this. And I'm hopeful that when other colleagues of mine from the industry will be aware or be made aware of this great danger, they will happily come forward and join hands. We are not conscious of what Global Cool is all about, but we do know that climates the world over are changing. We know that the emissions are destroying the atmosphere. And I know that many of us here in India may not be aware of it, or perhaps are not conscious of the fact that for the moment perhaps the Western world does have the largest percentage of damaging emissions and that India is still very low in those percentages. But I think it's very important to realize that very shortly India will be in the same bracket as the rest of the world. And I'm not just talking about uh, our nation as a growing economy, but the parallel that comes across when we talk about developing economies. There was a very interesting remark made by the mayor of London when we were uh, at a reception hosted by the Indian High Commission at Nehru Center. And he said, within 20, 30 years from now, when the world will talk about economic development, economic progress, economic status, there will be three people that will be meeting in solitude almost uh, inside the confines of a meeting room. And they would be the President of the United States of America, the President of China, and the Prime Minister of India. I think it's, it's a very valuable observation to make because it shows how important this region is becoming as far as economic progress is concerned. With the economic progress, it is being projected that India will have a very large middle class, a very large middle class that will be very affluent, a very affluent middle class that will be exposed to consumerism, a very large middle class that will use these consumer products and be the reason and cause for a lot of damaging emissions. And that is why it is important that we today become aware of this fact and start taking preventive measures to control this disaster that is going to come our way. Some of the do's and don'ts I'm still being made aware of, but I know that there are very, very simple little things that all of us can practice and do in our time in order to be contributing towards the large number of damaging emissions that are taking place. Simple things like not putting your television set on standby, on not keeping your mobile charger on for beyond its time, for using CFL bulbs, putting off the extra electricity that we're using. Very simple things, but I know that they will go a very long way in supporting this very noble cause that Global Cool is propagating. I'm very happy that IFA is associated with it and I urge my fellow colleagues to also join in and help towards this very noble cause. I'm delighted also that we've chosen Yorkshire in Great Britain this year. Yorkshire is perhaps um, a name that is little known to Indians and I'm hopeful that after IFA stages its event in Yorkshire, it will become something that every household in India will come to know. We chose Yorkshire because it was unusual. We chose them because the people that we've been interacting with for the past year have absolutely been flooring us with their hospitality, their affection, and their love. Yorkshire is a very important segment in the history of Great Britain and very little is known about it, but I'm sure that as the event progresses, people will know how important an ingredient it is in the progress 
of the country in that part of the region. And very soon, I'm hopeful that tourists and people that will be watching our program will also visit this most beautiful countryside and add to the glamour and the dignity and the respect that the Yorkshire people have been giving us during this past year. I was given, as you saw in one of the videos, a wonderful symbol of Yorkshire, the white Yorkshire rose on my lapel. I carry that as a symbol of the affection and the love of the Yorkshire people. And I promise you that we will contribute equally, if not more, in giving back that love and affection from us Indians and from the Indian film fraternity and the people.